Hi gorgeous babies, how are you? So I hope everyone is doing well and feeling well. So today I wanted to just come to you guys with a beginner friendly video. Um, I'm going to make this video a two part video since I'm a beginner on YouTube, you only get a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna make it a two part video. First part of the video is gonna be a brow tutorial for beginners. And then the second part is just gonna be the rest of the face really. Um, super quick, super easy anybody can do it and yeah so let's get right into it i decided to use um mainly all beginner friendly products why use high-end things if you're a beginner today i'm just going to come to you with the wet and wild um ultimate brow micro brow pencil and i have mine in the shade uh, i don't see it so i will list it below so this pencil is I think only like six or seven dollars. Want to start off with a pencil that does have a smaller fine tip. I mean, if you think you need a bigger tip, uh, be my guest and try. Fine tips are just easier to move about and like creates brow a little bit more seamlessly than a bigger tip does in my opinion. And you also wanna get a brow pencil that does come with a spoolie. This is going to be your best friend. If you watched my Wet n Wild video, um, my full face of wet and wild. That was my first time using this pencil. This pencil is bomb. What I like to do is I like to first take my brow pencil on the spoolie end. I like to lift my eyebrow up just a little bit to just see the arch already mimicked. And I just like to brush the hairs upwards. I do tweeze my own brows and um, pluck them or whatever you want to call it and I do use the razor right here and to clean up a little bit so I do just create like a arch that's high enough to where I would want to draw my brow on I do have a scar on this brow so it is like always um, different from the other one but I've always heard that they are sisters not twins and I live by that that helps me take off some of the pressure when I'm doing my brows so I just like to take the pencil in now and I start right here where, um, as you can see, like it's thick, 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 and then it goes straight up. So I want to create like a, almost like that, that, that patch is not right there. I like to place my pinky sometimes on my cheek. It just helps me from going in too heavy handed. So I'm just gonna basically add the product right there. So it looks like I have brow right there and I don't. And I just take it all the way to the end and kind of just overdo it just a tad bit. So then I like to just keep adding until I get the desired like arch. And then I just connect it. And then I fill it in. I normally do use a pomade, but this brow pencil is so good, you don't need to go out and purchase a pomade unless you just want that look. I'm just going to go to the front of my brow now, and I like to start right where the beginning of my eye is. So I'll just kind of maybe sometimes leave a mark right there so that I know. And then you just want to take that line, gently draw it back. And then I like to take my spoolie and just kind of brush through my hairs. I'm just gonna go in and just fill in spaces where I do see like skin. It's definitely a process. You don't wanna judge, judge your brow off of this because once you carve it out and shape it all up, it's gonna be magnificent. So trust the process. So now I'm just gonna go in and just kind of like flick upwards, not heavy handed, not heavy handed, very gently. I'm going to flick upwards, basically on this, I don't know if you can see it, the line that I created, where I would like for my brow to start, but it doesn't. Just kind of brush. Make sure my hair is kind of all standing in one direction so that I can see where I have skin and I need to cover it up. Mm -hmm. 
this might not work for everybody but the technique stays the same but maybe your brow shape is different maybe your hairs are you know thinner or the technique stays the same you know but you know sometimes you have to tweak it to make it your own i am just going to do what i did here to the other brow which is always the hardest so i'm going to go ahead and brush Taking away is easier in my opinion than adding. So that is why I do make mine kind of long so that I can take away gradually. And I never start at the beginning of my brow for anything because I don't know, it just doesn't look natural to me. So I just don't do it. I do recommend getting a really close up mirror. I will show you mine. It's a little dingy right now, I need to clean it off. I do recommend getting a mirror like this, especially with the light. Sometimes I notice that when I would do my brows in the regular mirror, they would look, they would look cute. But then when I would look in this mirror, the smaller mirror, they would look kind of weird and I was just like, we do. So I do recommend getting one of those just so you can see up close or even like a compact mirror. I forgot about those like a little handheld one that does have like the zoomed up mirror and then like the not so zoomed up side. Yeah, those those will work. You should get one if you just really want to make sure you're doing it correctly. For concealer, what you want to do is first get a concealer that is lighter than your natural skin tone for the bottom. I would do maybe a shade or two lighter. And then you want to get one that is either your shade or... It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to get one that's not as light as this one. One that does match your skin tone a little bit better. So the concealers that I do love right now that are very affordable for my brow carving are the Wet n Wild concealer. This is just the Photo Focus concealer. And I also do like the e.l.f. Hydrating concealer. Now these are just two concealers that I would use for my top or my bottom. Um, the neutral one for sure I can use for both. I tried that in my Wet n Wild video and it worked out perfectly. So if you just want to use one concealer for like a one and done, I do recommend this because you don't have to spend as much money. You can use one concealer and be done with it. Now, um, I'm not sure if this one is kind of more expensive. This is the L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible Waterproof Concealer and I have mine in the shade of Vanilla. I do like to use this for my under eye as well, my under brow as well because, um, for one, it's lighter. For two, it is waterproof. I do like the way it helps my eyeshadow um, stick to my eyes, basically. Um, so yeah, this is a really good one. And it's not like too chalky. So like, again, I have mine in the shade Vanilla. If you do have like 20 extra bucks, I do recommend the Tarte Shape Tape Minis. They're a little bit more high end, but I got the minis for my brows specifically because I don't want it to go to waste. I didn't want to buy a bigger one in two different shades and it goes to waste. So for the bottom part of the brow, I would use the light sand shade and then for the top, I will use the light neutral shade. You can't really tell the difference maybe on camera. Yes, you can. Lighter, darker. Under the brow, over the brow. These are really, really good. To carve my brows out, I'd use these Wet n Wild um, concealer brushes. Uh, I only have two just because I'm just being bad and bougie. I just want two because I don't want to mix the colors. You can definitely use one, wipe it off, use another shade. You know, you can definitely do that. It's not a big deal. And I got these on Amazon for like 60 cents, I believe. I will link it below. You do want your brush to be quite flat. This one's not that flat because I just washed my brushes. Um... You do want them to be kind of flat. Once the concealer gets on there, I do flatten my brush out. I will show you exactly what I do. I'm going to just go in for the bottom part of my um, eyebrow. I'm going to go in with the natural shade from Wet n Wild. I just dab it a couple times, place it on the back of my hand. Get as much as you think you'll need. Don't get too much because you won't need as much. and You don't want to just waste product. So I'm just going to go ahead and... 
dab my brush in there and I do like to start with the bottom of the brow first just because it's just easier to me that way it helps me guide where the top of the brow is gonna go so I'm just gonna dab that in there and I'm flattening the brush as I dab as you can see like it's way flatter now so I'm just gonna lift up a little bit not too much I'm gonna start right here by my nose and just kind of gently go backwards just carving out how high I want it to be and then also just like straightening out those edges you know I'm just going to take my elf hydration concealer and i have mine the shade light beige on the back of my hand as well dab into that concealer slight arch not too much i'm going to start exactly where i probably started the bottom line well i try to get it as close as possible and drag down if there's like excess uh excess um uh, brow I just kind of tap it in and you know dab it into the skin and it goes right away so don't be stressed about that not a big deal so what I like to do is just kind of clean that up just get the desired shape that I like which is never the same see how it's right there it's kind of you know what I'm saying you do see how my concealer right here is a little bit more yellow and this one is a little bit more peachy and lighter that's what I mean by different color. Sometimes my bottom one is like lighter, like the vanilla one. I'll show you what it looks like, just to show you. Sometimes I have this one on my bottom. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back in with that shade. I'm just gonna try to fix this. So I'm just gonna go back in with my other concealer brush. And I'm just going to take this concealer now and I'm going to gently take it and move it towards the other brow. Now that just helps me get a starting point of where I should start this. And then I like to do it with the under one as well. I don't know if I have enough product. Yeah, I do. Just to give you like okay this is where I need to start you know so that you can just try to make them as even as possible so I just I'm going to start where I pushed it over at and gently just Since I am right-handed, it is easier for me to carve this brow. It's so weird to explain how I gotta like try to do my hand in different ways so that I make sure I try to carve it the same. So this brow is acting funny today, which is fine, whatever. What I like to do is go in with my Real Techniques 421 brush and I just kind of like to blend the concealer out because it helps me see what it looks like. And if I can see what it looks like, I can help determine more what I need to do to make it more perfect in my opinion. I'm gonna go in with my pencil and just kind of drag the arch down a little. Yeah, see now they're kind of perfect. Tweak it to what makes you feel good. Tweak it to what makes you feel like, okay, I did good. This looks good on my face. I like to drag the concealer from the brow, just drag it down a little bit to my eyelid. That helps to have a natural look too, in my opinion, so that when you place your shadow, it just doesn't look like blotchy. 
you know. The last imperative step that is very important to me is brow gel. Now, I'm not gonna apply mine right now because I haven't done my face yet, but I do like to set my brows with some brow mascara or brow gel, um, just so that for one, it helps everything stay in place. After you use all of those powders and all of those, you know, everything going everywhere, this helps bring that color back. Now this is one of my favorite ones. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Tinted Brow Mascara. This pencil does not really require me to use pomade. It's a really, really good formula, so I don't really need it. Um, but I use the e.l.f. Brow Pomade and I have mine in the shade Medium Brown. This is a really good pomade. It's a really good formula. So I just go in with an angled brush like this. I got mine from, I think, Morpheus, the M165. This was like five or six dollars on Ulta's website. Um, you can use any angled brush like this. So you don't have to get more for you. It's just whatever. That's me being bad and bougie again. You don't want to get too much. If you get too much pomade, then your brows look kind of... So I just like to take the back of the lid. And I just kind of gently press my brush on the back of the lid. Just to like flatten the brush. And then like flatten the product on the brush as well. And then it also takes off the uh, excess brush. Um, product. I would basically line my brows. Um, I wouldn't start at the front, of course, at the top. At the bottom, yeah, I do. But at the top, no. I would, you know, do the brows and then I would fill it in slightly with the pencil, but then mainly with this. And I will also create the false hairs with this as well. Um, it's just either way is easier. Of course, the pencil is a lot quicker because you're only using that. And when you use pomade, you want to start at the back of the brow and then work your way to the front because there's so much product on your brush that you don't want a harsh brow at the front. And then I also do sometimes do the gentle, gentle uh, faux brow hairs and you know, same thing I do with my pencil basically. So it is imperative that you do go through with your spoolie and just kind of brush everything around so that it doesn't look so harsh. For a beginner, I do recommend starting with pencil and then working your way up to working with pomade. Pencil is just so much easier, especially if you have a good formulated uh, pencil. Once you learn your face and you learn how you love it, it becomes so easy, I promise you. So if you are interested in the Makeup for Beginners full face video, that will be next. I can either link it in the description box below and you can just click the video there, or you can just go to my channel and just click the next video after this one. Hopefully I was able to help somebody um, figure out um, maybe a new technique to do their brows. And yeah, so let's jump into this face. Bye.